All right, so today I want to solve an indirect measurement problem. And this is a situation that we, we encounter in surveying and some other areas where uh, you can't make um, the shape that you want. You can't do what you want. There's, there's a couple of other ways to do this. We can use the law of sines, the law of cosines. But um, let's assume we only know right triangle trigonometry, or let's say we forgot the law of sines and the law of cosines. Um, we can uh, we can solve this problem using just right triangle trig and a system of equations and I want to show you how to do that so um, here's a scenario a surveyor has to measure the height of this object but he cannot walk up to this object there's an obstruction say it's a creek say it's a property boundary let's say it's a fence someone says you can't come up to this object and measure this distance so what they would do is at this distance here they would take an angle reading this is 18 degrees they would walk forward some amount in this case they walked forward 400 feet to a new location and they take a second measurement of the angle okay the angle of elevation 41 degrees and they want to find this height okay now if you notice here I don't know if you can see this on the video but I've got two triangles that are that share the same side they both share this side H and one is in black it has an angle of 18 degrees one is in blue and it has an angle of 41 degrees and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, and I'm gonna call this distance here X because I don't know it I don't know what this distance is and if I know this distance X and I know this angle 41 degrees I can find H very easily so my goal is to find this so I can find this so here goes um, I take my my triangle here and for this triangle for this triangle that's in black I'm gonna write an equation okay I'm gonna write an equation for this triangle and I look and I say well I want to know this side that's the height it is opposite of this angle and I know this side is the adjacent so that's gonna be a tangent equation so tangent of 18 degrees equals opposite over adjacent and in this case the adjacent side is 400 plus X right because it's going to be this distance plus this distance okay all right and then I'm going to write an equation for the blue triangle and the blue triangle is really easy again I've got an angle I've got the opposite side and I've got the adjacent side so it's also going to be a tangent equation tangent of 41 degrees equals opposite over adjacent okay so h over x so I have my two equations and I notice that both of them have this nice pretty h sitting all by its lonesome so I'm gonna solve these equations for h so if I solve this equation for h I get h equals 400 plus x put that in parentheses that quantity if I knew what X was I would add them together and it would be one number so I treat them like one number and that quantity is going to be times the tangent of 18 degrees and a lot of people this bothers them but tangent of 18 is a number it's just a number it's like the number 5 it's a messy number but it's just a number uh, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this equation. I'm going to solve it for H. And so I get H equals X times tangent of 41 degrees. Now, I have H equals this, and I have H equals that. That implies that this is equal to that. And that's a method called substitution that we learn in systems of equations. So because H has to be equal to H, this has to be equal to that. So I do that. I set those equal. I say 400 plus X times the tangent of 18 degrees equals X times tangent of 41 degrees. Okay, that seems pretty simple. Now what? Now we're going to start plugging in numbers. We're actually going to start working this equation. So the tangent of 41 degrees, if I type that into my calculator, so if I type tangent of 41 degrees, make sure you're in degree mode, I get 0.8693. So this is 0.8693. So I get 0.8693 times x, right? x times that number is that number times x. Same thing, commutative property. Okay, how about here? 
what is the tangent of 18? The tangent of 18 degrees is 0 0.3249. So this is 0 0.3249. And I'm going to take this number and I'm going to distribute it here and here. Okay, so the first part's going to be easy. I'm going to get 0.3249x. And 0.3249 times 400, if I can type correctly, uh, is 129.97. So 129.97. Okay, so I've got 129.97 plus 0.3249x equals 0.8693x. Now what? Now I need to solve. And, and don't let this, sometimes people let these decimals throw them off, but it means just, they're just numbers. And so I'm going to take this and I'm going to subtract it from both sides. And if I do that, I get 129.97 is equal to 0.5444x. Okay? And then I'm going to divide. Okay? So I'm going to divide. And when I do that, I say 129.97 divided by 0.5444. And that gives me x equal to 238.74. Okay? So now I know this distance. This is 238.74. And it's in feet because the 400 was in feet. So now look at your blue triangle. I know this side. I could plug that in here and solve for H. I already did that actually. I've got that equation. H equals X times tangent of 41. So I say H equals X times tangent of 41. I already did this problem. And I just plug in 238 here. So H is really just 238.74 times the tangent of 41 degrees. And if I type that into my handy dandy calculator, I get H is equal to 207.5 feet. And that's indirect measurement. That's how you find measurement without walking right up to an object and measuring the adjacent side. So it's something you see quite commonly in surveying some other fields. So um, and it's a problem that's really common in a trigonometry class. So I hope that's helped you. I hope that's kind of giving you some insight into a problem that I think most students have trouble with. And if you have any questions, please let me know.